Hi, many people ask me, what should we do now that the market is at an all-time high? So should we buy more? Maybe from here the markets will go up. Or what should what should I do? I am confused. I am scared to enter in the market right now. Or sometimes it might be that someone who did not hear about the markets earlier, now looking at the markets going up, they might come and try to enter the market at this point of time. So whatever the situation may be, either you are an investor and you are scared whether you might lose the profit as the market comes down, or somebody who is like a newcomer who thinks, oh, now the, the market is going up, everybody talk, is talking about the stock market, let me also invest in the stock market. But let us understand whether this is the right time to invest or not. And if yes, then what should you do? If no, then what should you do? So watch this video till the end of the of this uh, uh, session and you will get to know the answers for these two questions. So welcome, this is Paresh Desai from Sankar Ready Venture. I'm a chartered accountant and uh, almost like 25 years as a, as a chartered accountant and more than 15 years as a coach and trainer for stock market training. So watch the session and uh, you'll get to know what to do when the markets are at an all-time high. the market is all time high so many times it comes to what you should do we have already up so I am just going to note down what are things you can do book your profits okay if you already invested if you have already invested in the in the this thing in your in that particular stock okay so book your profit profit book karo. okay if we look at something like uh, for example if I go to Britannia Industries Okay, Britannia, if you look at it, would be at a, probably almost like an all-time high. And if you look at the market, the market is at 19,564. It closed at 19,564. And the high was 19,594. Where did it close? 19,590. Now, if you see here, this is open, high, low and close. So, this is daily candle. So, this daily candle, you can see that there is a new high. So, if you look at the new high, you can see that 19,000. 594 ka hai tha. It closed at 19,590, which is the all-time high. Till now, we the kitna high price hai nahi tha. And this is about the Nifty 50. So if a market is an all-time high, to kafi baar kya hota hai ki sometimes there is some correction. Okay, jaise yaha par, I will just give an example. Ki when the market was was at an all-time high sometime last year, not last year, maybe in October 2020 or December 2021. Chhe maine pehle you had seen six months back or seven months back, market was at an all-time high, right? 18,800 kya aspas market tha. So on that day, obviously, that was the highest because the market was not there, right? So this was the highest price at that time. And from here, what happened was that after the market at the all-time high, it started falling from here. So here, se girte, 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 kafi fall hua. And what was there, something like 18,880 uh, or something, it went all the way down to 17,800. And uh, if you see from there onwards, it went even lower. Or bhi thoda niche aa the price. Okay. So, agar yaha pe kisi ne becha nahi hai, then he would have found that if he was invested in any of the nifty duty stocks or something, his profits would have reduced. So, a wise thing would be what? First to book your profit. If that is your target wo agar aapka target tha so it ha mera target hai aur all time high ke paas abhi market aa gaya mera individual stocks bhi all time high ke paas hai then it is better to book your profit theek hai so first one is book your profit if your stock is also at an all time high so i'll just write it your here if your stock is also at all time high theek hai but you might say, but if it went up from here, then what? Okay, that is a valid question. But suppose I, I book my profit. Okay, my profit is booked. But if it went up from here, then what do I do? So there is always going to be a catch-22 situation. So what does catch-22 situation mean? If it's kept, then it's possible that the price will come down, so how much profit will be, it won't be. Second one would be that, okay, if I keep it the stock, if I don't exit, then maybe I can get even higher profits. So today, as of today, when I'm taking the decision, how do I know that what is going to happen tomorrow? Nobody knows for sure. Right? Yeah, say market or high banaga, yeah, what will happen? No one knows. 
सो इफ यू आर लिटिल एग्रेसिव अगर आपका रिस्क टेकिंग एपेटाइट थोड़ा ज्यादा है तो वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन डू समथिंग कॉल इज अ ट्रेल योर स्टॉप लॉस ओके ट्रेल योर स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेलिंग योर स्टॉप लॉस का मतलब होता है कि अगर आपने ऑलरेडी स्टॉक लिया हुआ है प्राइस इज गॉन अप नाउ यू फाइंड एट ओके इट इज एट एन ऑल टाइम हाई यहां से अगर नीचे आएगा तो आपका जितना प्रॉफिट है वो भी कम हो जाएगा बट यहां से और ऊपर जाता है तो यू वॉन्ट दैट एडिशनल प्रॉफिट ऑल्सो ठीक है सो इन दैट केस आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट टू डू इन द सेम स्टॉक विच वी सॉ जस्ट नाउ अगर मान लो ब्रिटानिया का अपने पास स्टॉक है ओके लेट्स यू गॉट द स्टॉक ऑफ ब्रिटानिया एंड यू फाइंड ओके दैट ब्रिटानिया इज नाउ ऑलमोस्ट एट ऑल टाइम हाई और ये काफी बार काफी ऊपर गया हुआ है एंड देन नाउ आई डोंट वॉन्ट माई प्रॉफिट टू रिड्यूस लेकिन इसमें क्या होगा You will have to have another uh, study for the same stock. Okay, जब भी कोई भी आप कोई stock लेते हो, खरीदते हो तभी आपको एक study करना पड़ता है, right? Which is based on the technical charts. कि एक breakout हुआ है या you got some indication, you got some confirmation. Then you decide. ठीक है यहाँ पे खरीदना है ये मेरा target है ये मेरा stop loss है. So similarly, if you are thinking of continuing from here, thinking अच्छा ये यहाँ से और ऊपर price जा सकती है. In that case, you need to keep a trailing stop loss. Trailing stop loss क्या होता है कि अगर price if it goes below a particular level, not your original stop loss. Original stop loss तो हो सकता है आपका शायद यहाँ पे रहेगा. लेकिन अभी यहाँ पे अगर मान लो आपको target already आ गया, then what you can do is you can have a trailing stop loss maybe at an earlier low. Okay, one of the ways. One of the ways to find is To put it at your earlier low, ठीक है earlier low का मतलब होता है जैसे ये एक high था ये एक low है ये और एक high है ये और एक low है तो यहाँ पर already एक higher low आ गया था and if you see four nine five three somewhere around four nine five three four nine five zero ये आस पास अगर आप आपका trailing stop loss रखते हो then what will happen if the price closes below this then you would exit from the market तो यहाँ से ये जो portion है this portion is something which you are willing to take a risk क्योंकि जब भी आपको एक्स्ट्रा अगर प्रॉफिट चाहिए ओके अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट इफ यू वांट एन एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉफिट देन यू शुड बी विलिंग टू पुट इन एक्स्ट्रा रिस्क आल्सो, ओके तो ये एक्स्ट्रा रिस्क एज ए न्यू स्टडी व्हाट यू फाइंड इज दैट यू नीड टू टेक इट लाइक अ फ्रेश ट्रेड एंड इन दैट केस यहां से यहां ये जो एरिया है दिस वन सिक्सटी लॉस यू शुड बी विलिंग टू टेक ओके विलिंग टू टेक मीन्स दिस इज नॉट द लॉस बट दिस इज द रिस्क आई वुड से इतना रिस्क लेने के लिए आपको आपका रेडीनेस होना चाहिए गेट हायर प्रॉफिट ऑल्सो बट अगर नीचे गया तो आई डोंट नो बिकॉज इन दैट केस यू विल मेक अ लॉस तो लॉस कहां तक बेयर करोगे सो प्रोबली आई कैन बेयर मैक्सिम दिस मच लॉस बियॉन्ड दैट इफ इट क्लोज इज बिलो इट देन आई विल एक्से तो इसमें होगा क्या कि जो फ्रेश प्रॉफिट अगर आता है यहाँ से लेट्स इफ द प्राइस गोज अप एंड बेस्ड ऑन सम स्टडी अगर हमको लगता है नो दिस इज एट एन ऑल टाइम हाई ठीक है ऑल टाइम हाई के यहाँ पर प्राइस है एंड बेस्ड ऑन ओवर कैलकुलेशन मान लो अगर मैं ये एक फ्लैग पैटर्न पकड़ता हूँ ओके okay? और ये फ्लैग पैटर्न का अगर मैंने फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड टू लेट से फाइव थाउजेंड और मैं यहाँ पे सोचता हूँ पांच हजार से प्राइस पांच हजार पांच सौ तक भी जा सकती है नॉन वॉट बीस इज टेकन फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन दर फ्लैग पैटर्न ओके फ्लैग पैटर्न का अगर ब्रेकआउट अगर मैं देखता हूँ यहाँ पर तो फ्लैग पैटर्न ब्रेकआउट था वापस रिटेस्ट था अगेन द प्राइस सो फ्लैग पैटर्न का ब्रेकआउट के हिसाब से अगर फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इज माई नेक्स्ट टारगेट ओके इन दैट केस वॉट हैपन दिस बिकॉज माई रिवॉर्ड दिस बिकॉज माई रिस्क बट हो सकता है कि दिस मे नॉट बी दिस्ट इट इज नॉट फिटिंग इन योर रिवॉर्ड रिस्क रेशो तो आपको थोड़ा सा ये रिवाइज करना पड़ेगा ओके वॉट यू टू रिवाइज यू आर टू रिवाइज योर रिस्क एपेटाइट ओके तो ये जो रिस्क है नाउ आई वुड से विजुअली समवेयर लाइक दिस वन ये 130 है एंड वाई वन टू फोर टू फाइव हंड्रेड दिस वुड बी इजिली मोर देन 375, ओके okay? 375 के एग्जैक्ट थ्री सेवेंटी के आसपास है तो ये आपका रिस्क हो जाता है और ये आपका रिवॉर्ड बन जाएगा राइट सो वेदर इवन इफ एन यूर टेकिंग अ फ्रेश ट्रेड याद रखो दैट यू हैव टू See to it that it is fitting in your risk reward ratio of minimum three to one. That is what is uh, mandatory from at least when I take a trade or whenever I tell anybody to take a trade. Come see, come, your reward is three times hai, or risk is one time. Hai. Only then take a trade. Otherwise, don't take a trade because market volatility. Me, what will happen? That many, many stock, many trades. Sometimes you take, 
दस में से दो तीन चार ट्रेड आपके गलत जा सकते हैं ओके okay? या तो आपने गलती कर ली ट्रेड लेने में या फिर हो सकता है कि मार्केट ने आपको गलत प्रूव किया ओके सो वट एवर इट इट माइट बी वेदर यू मेक अ मिस्टेक और इफ द मार्केट प्रूव यू रॉन्ग आईदर वे यू विल एंड अप मेकिंग सम लॉसेस एंड वेन एवर यू आर मेकिंग एनी लॉसेज योर लॉसेज शुड नॉट बी मोर देन वन टाइम ऑफ योर प्रोबेबल प्रॉफिट टू योर प्रोबेबल प्रॉफिट जो है दोज आर गोइंग टू बी योर rewards and the the probable loss is going to be the risk which you are going to take so this is the second thing which you can do you can trail your stop loss and find out the fresh target with a fresh stop loss okay to pehla kya tha pehla tha agar aapka target aa gaya to book your profit second was where you find no i want to continue in the market so find out your fresh target and your fresh stop loss and then continue in the market now the third one the third one would be कि अगर मार्केट ऑलरेडी ऑल टाइम हाई के पास आ गया देन व्हाट शुड आई डू शुड आई वेट टिल द मार्केट क्रैशेस एंड देन शुड आई एंटर उसमें तो बहुत टाइम जाएगा इफ आई एंटर टू स्टॉक समथिंग लाइक ब्रिटानिया नाउ तो तो ऑलरेडी ऊपर गया तो यहां से कभी भी शायद नीचे आ गया तो अन्य से लेटरी कर रॉन्ग टाइम सो इन दैट केस देर इज डेफिनेटली अ सोल्यूशन टू दिस नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेन द मार्केट आर गोइंग अप जैसे अभी ऑल टाइम हाई पे द निफ्टी है द सेंसेक्स इज देर they are at an all time high so does it mean that all the stocks are also at an all time high all the sectors are also at an all time high the answer is no okay i hope you are getting some idea that agar aapka jo individual stocks hai wo all time high ke paas nahi hai jo sectors hai kafi sare sectors hai i ek sector mein aapko bataunga yahan par ki kaun sa sector market ke hisab se abhi nahi chal raha tha abhi now it started to move okay and there's given a great move today so maybe some sectors are there which have not been doing same as per the what the market was doing right and if you go and enter into those stocks then also you can make money although the market is an all time high theek hai to usme jo hoga risk appetite thoda aapka risk taking uh, the risk would be little lesser right so yes some of you have guessed it correctly and the sector which i'm going to show you is the it sector तो निफ्टी आईटी सेक्टर अगर हम देखते हैं निफ्टी आईटी सेक्टर द निफ्टी आईटी सेक्टर इज नॉट एट अल टाइम हाई तो निफ्टी आईटी सेक्टर कहां पर था अराउंड थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड फोर फोर्टी वन जो है ऑल टाइम हाई ऑफ निफ्टी आई टी सेक्टर ओके आई टी मीन इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इफ यू सी मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टॉक्स वो इन आई टी लाइक इन्फोसिस है विप्रो है दे वुड बी अवेलेबल एट अ मच मोर लोअर लेवल देन वॉट देर ऑल टाइम हाई वॉज ओके और यहाँ पर अगर हम देखते एक एक अच्छा खासा ब्रेकआउट भी मिला है एंड टुडे मोस्ट ऑफ मेनी ऑफ द आईटी स्टॉक लाइक इंफोसिस वाज अप बाय 61 रुपीस टुडे सोच सकते हो दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 4 एंड 1/2 परसेंट इन वन डे इट्स अ वेरी रेयरली वेरी रेयरली दैट इंफोसिस इज मूव्स सो मच इन अ डे और कभी-कभी मूव भी होता है लेकिन काफी काफी देर के बाद यहां पर इंफोसिस हैज मूव्ड अप सो मच लुक एट दिस द शेप ऑफ द कैंडल ओके so if you see this is today's candle for infosys to so, infosys jo all time jo kafi niche tak gaya tha almost like 1200 ke paas gaya tha 1200 se abhi now it is almost uh, 1426 from 1200 to 1426 right it is almost 250 rupees from on 1200 so 1200 to 250 can you imagine 20% return in a just a period of 3 months investing in infosys after this hammer was like a no brainer और यहां से यहां प्राइस आ गई ऑलरेडी आपका 20 परसेंट रिटर्न आ गया सिर्फ तीन महीने में इन स्टॉक ऑफ इंफोसिस एंड देन द बेस्ट पार्ट इज की इंफोसिस में अभी इफ द ट्रेंड इज स्टिल अप एंड द ऑल टाइम हाई इज क्वाइट फार अवे यू कैन कंसीडर फॉर द स्टॉक्स व्हिच आर देयर इन द आईटी सेक्टर ओके नाउ यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट आई एम व्हाटएवर आई एम गिविंग यू ओवर हियर इज ओनली ऑन द स्टडी ऑफ द कैंडलस्टिक पैटर्न्स एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द टेक्निकल एनालिसिस नो वे आई एम सजेस्टिंग दैट यू बाय इंफोसिस or you buys any shares or something i am not into advisory into full time into uh, coaching and this is i'll be training on the basis of the technical analysis right so the study is based on the technical analysis and if you are taking your the, your uh, trades you should be studying it on the technical analysis principles and take it as per your own the risk appetite as per your own capital and the system you can follow okay system is something which i tell that okay you follow in this system called as indication confirmation then your stop loss and your target ye system agar aap follow karoge तो आपका लॉस होने का चांसेस बहुत कम होता है सो आई होप दैट इज क्लियर विद एवरीवन। सो दिस वाज द थर्ड थिंग विच यू कुड डू थर्ड थिंग वाज, सो फर्स्ट वन आई वुड वाज वाज नो वन बुक योर प्रॉफिट द सेकंड वन वाज वेयर 
you trail your stop loss. Number two was trail your stop loss and continue with the trade. Okay. So, ye ho gaya tha. The, the second option. Now, the third option is what? Okay, the third option we saw was what? Which was what? Look for greener pastures. Look for greener pastures. Okay, greener pastures, like we have seen. Which was uh, the Nifty IT. Okay which are not near the all-time high. Okay? The all-time high ke paas nahi hai. Aise sectors pe aap ja ke dekh sakte ho. Okay? Now, what will you do next? Abhi ye toh humne dekh liya ki thik hai, dousra sector pe ja ke aap dekh sakte ho and then find out. So, one more thing, what you can do it. Now, if you find, okay, market all-time high pe hai, what should I do? I don't, I don't want to go into sectors which are Probably not in an uptrend now. IT sector, pata nahi, abhi thoda abhi upar raya. But I want to go for sectors which are like already done well and uh, proven themselves. Okay, so in that case, one, one thing what I can suggest to you is that you study more. Okay, now is the time to study. Rather than investing in a haste, yaad roko jaldi ka kaam shaitan ka hota hai. So, if you go to the trade, if you go to the wrong place, enter the wrong And then you will enter losses and if you don't know, why did I enter at this point of time? So, don't do that. Wait for a proper opportunity, wait for the dips, wait see to that you get proper indication, trend line breakout. All the systems which you follow, the system if you buy signal, you can buy And another thing, along with the system, you have to follow the risk reward ratio. So the risk reward ratio is better 3 to 1, mein hai. Hi trade lo, otherwise don't take the trade. Okay, so the third one I would suggest you would be that you study more and uh, so let me just see, let me just put it over here. So. Now is the time to study. So sometimes you need to study also what's happening. So they what is happening, how the markets are moving. Right? So time to study. And one more thing, next one is this is very, very important. Do nothing. Okay. Do nothing because if you do something which is uh, in a hasty decision, or if you are taking any impulsive trades, the market already upar gaya hai, more these stocks are going up, or upar jayega, you have a fear of missing out, commonly known as FOMO. In that case, you'll find that you'll be entering at the wrong time, and from there, the markets might <clears throat> come down. I might say markets might come down, but if they come down, in that case, you'll find, oh, many entry layer, maha se price ni chari. So, best thing would be that wait for some time and do nothing. Money saved is money earned. Yeah, there. So if you don't do anything, then you invest not hoga. Paisa invest not hoga. And if the market comes down, you will not be lost. Hoga, loss nahi hoga. So you will save on the loss. So even like understanding when not to do something is also very important. Okay, so I hope you got a good idea about what to do when the markets are at an all-time high. Let me just summarize. Number one, book your profit if your stock is also at an all-time high. Number two, trail your stop loss and continue with the trade. If you don't think that you will go higher, then trail your stop loss. Third, look for greener pastures, okay, which are not near the all-time high. Like one sector we saw, which was the IT sector. So in the IT sector, if you think that there are other companies like Wipro, like Infosys, hai, those are going up, then you can consider for those subject to your study. Fourth one is time to study. Study more. Study the technical analysis. Study how the things are working. Okay, and the fifth one is do nothing. So if you do these things, then I'm sure that uh, you will make the most of the markets and you will make money. And even if you lose, the loss is going to be uh, one, one third of what you make the profits. And you will always protect your capital. Because remember, protecting your capital is your basic and primary duty. Okay, so I hope you got a good understanding about how you can take the trades or how you can not take the trades in the current scenario when the markets are at an all-time high. So now that you understood what you should be doing when the market is high, I'm sure not only you'll be able to make the profits, book the profits, and also try to identify the stocks which are yet to give the profits and also save yourself from the losses. So if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. 
and i'll see you soon in another video bye